Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another bespoke beer review for the Beer Connoisseur. In this one, we've got um, a beer which I picked up today in York. Now, today I met up with Richard, Matthew and Jimbo. Um, and we all went to the Trampin' Madness and we all picked the same beers. So we all had uh, a choice of choosing um, one beer and everyone had to get that beer. So basically, we all bought the same beers. So I thought, what I'll do, get them home, put them up with views. Um, the lads who picked up the others, they'll start watching it and hopefully um, make an interesting comparison with them. So... The first choice is Richard's choice, um, and we've got a day of beer, and we've got uh, a can of their Summer Ale Strata, clocking in at 4.5% ABV. There you go, 500ml can, which, you know, when you go into a bottle shop, the 500ml start to stick out more than any of the others. So, Strata... Um, a hop which came out in 2018, cross-pollinated in 2009, um, wasn't really on general um, release uh, till 2018 from the state of Oregon, out in the US. So this is um, like a, a single hop variety beer, if you want to call it that. So it says, our delicious summer ale with strata substituted for galaxy, um, a simple malt base, light peachy yeast esters, and a tropical fruit forward strata hops create a bright, fresh go to summer pale. And you know what's just happened, boys and girls? That's right, the cat has just come in. Hang on. That's right, the chaos of the cats. We've had one cat come in and one cat go out. So, <laughs> every time I do beer reviews. Right, so this is Richard's choice. Daya. Um, I think there's only one day of beer on this channel, criminally enough. So, um, yeah, interesting choice of his, definitely. It was funny because every beer he was picking in Trembling Madness, um, either me or Matthew already had. So he had a bit of a hard job on his hands. But he got there in the end, bless him. So let's crack it open like you do. <sighs> See what we'll get. Aroma-wise, straight up. Hints are tropical for me. Bit of a hint of peach for sure for me. Smells juicy. Um, let's get it in the, the glass. Let's get rid of that hint of water. There, there she goes in a bucket. Get in your bucket. Go on. Let's pour it out anyway. While she sorts her bed out. So yeah. So looking forward to this. A summery ale. And I'm doing a pretty good job at a pour as well. So... There we go. There we go. Stick it there. So, beer in a glass, as you can see, quite pale looking, hazy, um, spacious, two finger heads worth. Um, yeah, it looks great. Lots of carbonation. Putting it up to the light. Tons of carbonation, but very pale. Very pale. I'll have to get myself a new pint glass, actually. It's starting to look a bit worse for wear, this one. <laughs> Just notice there's marks on it and stuff. And anyway, let's get the aroma from the glass. Again, slight hint of fruity notes, tropical peach for me. It smells decent. It really does. So I'm gonna go in. So cheers, Richard. Cheers for cheers for a great day, and um, it's great to meet you. So cheers, mate. Slightly thin, but it's got a nice, it's got prickly edge of carbonation straight off. And it's got a nice subtle peachy note there. I saw a hint of bitterness towards the back end. It's got it, it, it's got a nice juicy feel to it. It's, it's got like getting loads of, you know, your saliva glands and just splurting it out all over your mouth. Um... It does feel like a good, summery, light, sessionable beer for sure. Um, certainly is. Again, again. Mm. 
I call this definitely a garden beer. You know, knocking a few of these back in the garden. I say quite often. But it's, it's just got a nice, fresh feel to it. A light feel to it. Um, like I say, the king of the show is a, it's a tropical edge with a, a light bitterness to this. And yeah, it's very much um, a sessionable beer, for sure. Going again. Very refreshing. Very, very enjoyable. Um, you know, it's one of them go-to beers. You know, if you have a barbecue, it's great. You know, it's just one of them. Versatility through and through, boys and girls. It really is. So, uh, would I recommend this one? Yes. Is it a great pick by Richard? Most definitely. And yeah, it is a nice summery beer for sure. They are Summer El Strata. Give it a go if you've had it. Tell me what you think. It's just great, great fodder. It really is. Thank you very much for watching this beer review. Please subscribe. Murder them in the comments. And I shall see you again on another one. Cheers.